So what I'm, I'm working with is our new hire onboarding for our compliance team. So the change action really helped me to find that our strategic performance objective for this learning cluster is that by improving the time it takes to onboard a new hire for the client services compliance team, the business will benefit by seeing new hires contribute to team metrics in less than three weeks. So on the job, we will see learners working cases within three weeks of their start on the team. We will see an increased confidence when assisting clients with questions regarding filling out their plan document information and an increased confidence when assisting clients with their non-discrimination testing options. So I then moved on to the learn action. So let's go ahead and meet our learners. First, we have newbie Nora. So she is brand new to the company and is really excited to learn about her new job. Her biggest challenge is that this is really her first introduction to compliance and everything that that entails. So it's best for her to learn in a formal classroom and from her new co coworkers. Next, we have upskilling Ursula. So she's been with the company anywhere from six years to, or six months to six years. And she is currently working on another client services team. Really, her biggest challenges are one, finding the time to learn, and two, overcoming misinformation that she's picked up along the way. So she's going to need both formal classroom training with the option to test out and some on, to, on the go training. Finally, we have manager Maggie. So she's new to her manager role and is really overwhelmed by all she needs to learn. Now, luckily, she will not need to have the depth of knowledge of her individual contributor counterparts. Her biggest challenges are adding another team's knowledge to her already very full plate and finding the time for training. So she's going to need training that is both bite-sized and on the go. All right, moving into the upgrade action, I really started by looking at our current assets to see how they work for modern learners. So currently I have three in-person classes and e-learning and a bunch of knowledge-based articles. Now I started with the classes and their pre-modern score was an embarrassing two. So through chunking out the classes into smaller pieces, adding a case study or an exercise to each class, hyperlinking the articles from the knowledge base, adding a video to each and a group discussion, I was able to raise that score to a seven. Now, while the e-learning started with a score of five, there's certainly room for improvement. First, by chunking this out, adding an exercise for learners to complete and adding hyperlinks to the knowledge base articles. And all of this raises a score to an eight. The knowledge base articles we have start with a decent seven, so for now those aren't going to be touched. However, these assets will not meet the needs of all of our learners, so I proposed adding the following assets. First, we need a lunch and learn series talking about compliance documents and regulations. We need some job aids walking users through how to answer the most common plan document and non-discrimination testing questions. We need structured on the job training development programs. Also an active compliance team chat using either Google Chat or Microsoft Teams. And for my pie in the sky, I would really love an e-learning about non-discrimination testing. All right, so now comes the fun part and putting all of this together in the surround action and making sure I have assets for all of the learners in each of the learning touch points. So as you can see from my diagram, I am meeting the needs of all of my learners and surrounding them with meaningful learning assets. So each learner will be able to pull from this cluster and learn what, where, when, and how they need. So Nora has a mentor to work with, structured on the job training and formal classes. Ursula has uh, structured on the job training and classes to take. And Maggie has a lunch and learn series. And they all have the chat option, the e-learnings, the knowledge-based articles to pull from, and those job aids. Finally, in my track action, I went back to my SPO and saw that I can track several areas to make sure that my cluster is meeting the needs of the compliance team. First, are they able to work cases within three weeks of their start on the team? We can look at their start date and we can look at the date that they first worked a case. 
Second, are they able to increase their confidence when assisting clients with completion of their plan document? And finally, are they able to increase their confidence when assisting clients with non-discrimination testing options and completion? And to gauge that, I would use some sort of a survey to feel out how confident they are.